Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be decorating a Dutch door spread in my creative journal. I use the Happy Journal from the Happy Planner. It's a dot grid journal and um, I like to create spreads in here to journal on and a lot of times I'll do a Dutch door spread, which I'll show you a little bit more about that later if you're new to my channel. Um, but before we get started, I'm going to show you the stickers that we're going to be using. I've got the Summer Elements sticker book from Live Love Posh pulled out. And it's got some really cute stickers in here with the honeybees and the blues and yellows. It's really fun. So I've pulled some washi tape from plenty thing to coordinate and so but yeah let's go ahead and get started like i said we're going to do a dutch door spread in my creative journal and just to kind of give you an idea of what that is in case you're new to my channel um, there's a lot of ways to do dutch door spreads this these are all considered dutch doors this one is cut into the page and you can see behind it um, this one is cut into the page on top and you can see here i've got different um, mirrored images on each side and um, this one is a window cut out. So lots of ways to do Dutch door spreads. Today, we're gonna be doing the traditional down the side. I've got some flower stickers here that are seemingly mirrored images, which makes those Dutch doors a lot easier. And so we're gonna use these little flowers to create some little tabs here. And I think we're gonna do about three of them. And then this will be our back page. And so the, yeah, so that's three pages. And then we'll use the washi tape. It might, maybe four, I'm not quite sure, but um, three or four, um, but we're gonna use the washi tape also to decorate the edge of those um, pages. So to get started, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out um, one set of stickers and we'll start with that. Um, and then, so uh, actually I'm gonna start with the back one because that is, that's where you wanna start. Because if you start with the front one, you don't have anywhere to, you don't have any room to make them. Um, well, it depends on if you want waterfall tabs or just the flat. And so actually, yeah, we're gonna start with this one because I want them to all be the same, um, this come to the same edge. Waterfall tabs would maybe, the, like the back one would start here, the next one would start here and the next one to start in a little bit more. And so that's the difference, but we're gonna go ahead and start right here. And to cut into the page, I use my little cheapo Dollar Tree uh, cutting mat and I put that behind it and then I will use my um, gyro cut. Let me find it. And I got this from Amazon. You can, um, it's in my storefront linked below if you want to try it. But the difference with this between a regular craft knife is it's got a swivel blade. So see how that turns and it makes going around curves easier and it's kind of sticking out so you can see. Um, so it is a kind of a neat little thing. It takes a little practice to get used to it but it is a fun little tool. I'm looking for my ruler here because I need to, um, I need to have that so I can cut a straight edge. So what I do is I will, I will start on one edge of the, the sticker here and I just come up and same down here. I'm gonna take and hold the edge and cut straight down and then you can, um, so that cuts the most of it off, but then you've got to go around the sticker. And you can use this with a regular craft knife, but using the gyro cut makes it a little bit easier. See if we got us a good cut. Yeah, that worked out really well. And so then on this other side, you can take the mirrored image. My, my mat is new, so it's really sticky. After I use it for a bit, it'll get a little bit less sticky. Um, but the mirrored image of that sticker, and you can line it up and 
it looks the same on both sides like that all right so I need to decide if I'm doing th three or four um let's go let's go ahead and do the four because I've got two sets of stickers um to do that with and so we will kind of uh, let me before I do that I want to see if I've got enough made enough room to space them out like I want to Yeah, I think that's gonna work out pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and bring this one in. Kinda like that. I have to be careful because I have, um, you, you can get the spacing wrong pretty easily. So I really try to watch that now. And actually, I've got my sticker off the edge, so I need to fix that. Okay, I think I've got it at the right spot now. That took me a minute. Um, so now, what you wanna do is you're gonna cut the next one off, but um, we need to make it the same length as that. So I'm going to just put this one down and get my spot marked like that. And then we can move that over. Just this one. And it lines up pretty good. Just like, just like that. Alright, so I'm gonna keep going. I may fast forward through the most most of the rest of this part just so that we can not make this a super long video. And actually, I'm going to go to the back page because I want it to be kind of towards the bottom. And I will center the, um, the this one in between the two flowers so that they're, I can get them spaced out a little bit better that way, I think. actually gonna cut out the next one the third one so I can kind of keep it in line with these and I noticed now that I didn't get quite enough cut off of this middle row or second one rather so I'm gonna add, I'm gonna fix that really quickly um, just because I want those to be exactly the same or as close as I can get it so just get the slightest edge cut off and see if that if that does it oh dear it tore you guys all 
All right, I don't know what just happened. It tore just because it was so close to the edge. And um, yeah, that's why it tore, but it's okay. We're gonna fix that. We can cover it up with some washi tape. So let me trim that with my scissors. Yeah, that's better. It's pretty much even now, so that's good. All right, so now we can cut the third one. So our mirrored image for this one, and that is this sticker here. one more look at that so cute though already actually I'm just deciding now I may leave this on the back just like this so that I don't have another page I wanted it really just to be this few pages so yeah I'm just gonna leave it like this so let's go ahead and move on um, I know there's paint here that's from my um, spread that I did here, but we're going to be able to cover that up very easily. But before we move on, I'm going to use the washi tape to, um, to put on the edges. And when I get up here to the artwork, I just trim around it so it's fine. We're just going to let it go across like that. And I'll use my craft knife to trim. Actually, I can use my um, gyro cut. That's a little bit easier because you don't have to push down as much as if you are cutting through that paper, which is kind of thick. Before I trim the ends, let's go ahead and do this side. So this blue washi um, just came out in the June sub box for, or excuse me, planner subscription for um, from Plenty Thing. So you can't buy it individually right now. If you um, get this planner subscription for June, it'll come with that. And the yellow, I don't remember when it came out or what it came out with. It could be sold individually. I'm not quite sure on that. But both of the blues are part of the June planner subscription. All right, so that's the first one. I'm going to do the yellow on the second one. All right, so that is our, those are our Dutch doors. Um, let's go ahead and bring in the, uh, yeah, I think the stripe is my favorite. It's so cute. All right, let's go ahead and bring in some more of the decorative stickers. I think I'll pull in the honeycombs. Kind of, let's see, maybe with the flower. Oh, did we not? Do, oh, we didn't use the other one. I'm like because we didn't do this other side. Okay, that's why I have an extra one. Um, but I'm gonna bring the honeycombs in with some flowers up here. We'll put these right here and layer it with a flower. I'm trying to cover up that paint so I don't um, have any of that showing. And then maybe with another one too like that.
We'll save this little piece. All right, move a little bit of stuff out of the way here. Okay, that's really cute. Do we wanna use the window? I don't know, we're gonna think on that. I wasn't gonna cut into the window. I've done that before. Um, I could, I don't know if I will though. We're gonna put this little vase right here. I'm gonna put it close to the middle and let that fold up in the crease. Just kinda like that. So this page technically could be done. I may add some more um, decorative stickers and I might add some highlighters. I haven't decided on that yet. We'll bring in this um, honeycomb down here. Actually, I'm gonna cut it in half and use it in more than one spot. Oh my goodness, I just tore it. <laughs> That's okay. this one over here let's add in a few more flowers Put some there and maybe the little clipboard with this one down here all right Oh, and our bees, you guys, we gotta go back and add some honey. We'll come back and add the bees at the end, um, just so that they're dispersed all throughout. Okay, let's work on this one. We've got this vase. We'll put it here. Like that, and I just use my fingernail to kinda go up the crease there to get it in there really good so that it doesn't pop up, hopefully. Because um, sometimes it will if you're not careful. And then we've got the little planner. I think that's adorable. I'm thinking that we could do maybe some down the center. Let's do that. honey. Actually, let's do um, a couple of flowers. Like that. And maybe the bow. And Let's do the little honey or teapot. Well, that's a little bit too big, so we'll, we'll do something different. Um, let's, we've got the honey with the stick, little, whatever you call that little thing, like that. Okay, that's really cute. We're gonna stop there on that one. All right, for this, let's do, um, Tell you what, I wanna take this sign that says honey and put it at the beginning. And go back to this page for a second and put it right up here. And then I'm gonna come back to this page and we'll decorate. So this is gonna be, you can see through this, right? So I need to decide if I'm putting anything on this edge of the page or not, um, because I don't know if I want it to be seen behind there. I do want to use the little uh, swing. Maybe right here. I don't know. Let's bring it into the um, top of this page over here, but I don't want it to be showing out here. So we're gonna put it right about there.
and then I can trim the little edges and it looks like it's coming off the page. That's cute. Let's bring the window in. Like I said, we're not gonna cut out the window, but I, I do wanna use it. I'm gonna put it right here that and then let's bring in some lemons maybe down here and some more of the little flowers we've got other flowers oops Just trying to use this page up like that and again I don't want to go past this edge so we're gonna kind of watch that trim this got this tiny little flower um, I'm gonna layer it with the lemons washi tape. All right, that's a cute little cluster down there. We're going to stop there with that. Um, let's go back through and add in some honey, the bee, some of the honeybees, and then maybe in even some more decorations throughout the spreads. Um, I do want to get some more of this golden honeycomb in there, um, in here rather. So I'm going to bring in um, this one. But let's see. So it's cut on one side, so I'm just trying to make sure I use it um, in the right way. Maybe here. And then we'll bring the clipboard back up for a second. Okay, that's cute. Um, I don't know if I want to bring in the other blue since I've got it in two places. So let's pull in the bees. We've got the biggest one here. Let's put it just right here on the front. Like right there. And then I didn't think about it, but we could bring in the honeybees with the flowers. That would be cute. Mm. Okay, yeah, that's cute. Let's do that. We'll put this one like it's right on this flower. I'm gonna trim off the white from under its feet so I can get it a little bit closer to the flower. And a little bit of white from under here. Like that. And maybe put another one here. Okay, that's really cute. I like that. It adds a little bit more color into the background too. So that is really cute. I like that. Uh, let's bring in more of the lemons because we only have a couple of things with lemons on it so far. And I feel like if we're going to bring that in, we need to kind of really bring it in. I'm going to put this here and I'm going to cut the edge off so I can bump it up against that washi tape like that. This lemon down here and we have a little pitcher of lemonade and the lemonade in a glass so let's figure out where we want to put it we 
could do this right up here. Like that. And the little teapot, we need that too. We'll put it here. And we have a little cup. Maybe we'll add it into our little cluster down the middle here. And we can add in some of the lemons too. I'm gonna move this one over. Actually, I'm gonna remove this one and put this one right down on the edge of the page. Trim off a little bit of the white so I can get closer to the middle without going over like that. And maybe a flower with it. There we go. That's cute. I'm going to put this lemon up here so it kind of balances this being off to the side a little bit. Just a little piece of it. Actually, I'm going to move it in just a little bit. This other piece we can add in somewhere. Let's figure out where. What about right up here? Cute. That kind of adds in the lemons on that front page a little bit more. And we've got this little bitty tiny lemon. That's That can uh, stay there. We've got the honey jar. We need to put it somewhere. Like that. Actually, I don't think I want it cut though. I don't, I kind of want it sitting next to this um, picture. I'm trimming off the white so I can get it a little bit closer. Okay, so I'm okay with this being a little bit open. I think our honey sign might be a little bit crooked, so I'm gonna fix that. And I need to figure out if I'm bringing in more washi tape, which I do think I want to. Oops, that is gonna tear. Let me get my undo. And that'll take just a second to dry. Okay, so I really liked the stripe, and I, so I feel like I want to get it added in some more places. But you know what we could do is each, um, so that's got the blue and the yellow. We need yellow on this side, let's, or the blue stripe. Let's try it. Let's, let's just do one. And then we can trim around the all the artwork. I like that and then over let's see what do we need to do what do we need I think maybe we need the washi on this strip the very edge of the page um, and because we have let's do the yellow because we've got all three washies we'll have all three washies showing so I'm going to trim the little edge of the B off that I forgot to do and let's see what this looks like. We can always take it off if we don't like it, but I think it'll be cute. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, I like that because it has the blue and the yellow um, showing. So that's really cute. Uh, let's see, what else do we need? Oh, we gotta put our honey sign back. And this time I'm gonna try to not 
let it get crooked. <laughs> That's a little bit better. Okay. Very cute. Are we finished, you guys? I just think it's so cute, though. I need a little bit of yellow right through here. There's nothing in there that's yellow. We could put this flower. I'm going to trim the edge of it. And we can bump it up against that washi. Okay. have another B, so let's fit in a B or two in between, like on the other pages. So um, let's put one with this, and then maybe one here. So we've got one on every page now. So that one's just like this one, so I don't want to put it right next to it. How about like that? Cute. Okay. All right, I think we're pretty much done, you guys. I'm taking one more glance through the sticker book to see if there's anything else that we want to pull in. Um, the only thing I'm thinking is maybe a le another lemon or two here and there. Um, but really we've got lemons on every page, so we really don't need to. So, um, I need to also decide if I am bringing in the highlighters. I do that sometimes just to add a little bit more color, kind of like I did on this spread here. Um, and it just kind of gives you some lines to write on as well, but I don't know if I want to do that. Hmm. Let me test out some colors to see what would what it would look like. That's really pretty. And we do have the yellows. Not that one. And that might be the same color as that. I don't know. I've got multiples of some of them. could go. It's pretty bright though. So if I do it, I would do the blue. Hmm. And you know, I don't really want to clash with all of my blue washi and flowers. So I think I'm going to skip the highlighter this week, um, or excuse me, on this spread rather, and say that we are finished. It's so cute. I love how it's turned out. I hope you do too. I'm going to flip through the pages one more time just so you can see them. And there we go, that is our creative journal spread using summer elements from Live Love Posh. Use my link below if you would. I would greatly appreciate it. It does help me earn a small commission at no extra cost to you. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Uh, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like down below and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you next time, bye.